What's going on, guys? That is your boy, Mr. Noland. All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about ratios. All right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right, so here we go. What is a ratio? Well, guys, a ratio compares two things. For example, I bought me some peanut M&Ms earlier. So I'm going to compare... the green peanut M&Ms to the orange. So I'm comparing, let's do this. Let's do orange because order matters. So we're gonna do orange M&Ms to green M&Ms. So how many orange M&Ms do we see? Well, two. How many green M&Ms do you see? One, two, three, well, there's four. Guys, there's a ratio. Literally, that's your ratio. Can it be simplified? Well, yes, they're both even numbers, which means they are both divisible by two. There's your ratio of orange M&Ms to green M&Ms. Not bad, right? All right. So here we go. There's three ways of writing a ratio. We can do it in words, we can do it with a colon, or we can do it as a fraction. So let's go with orange to green M&Ms again in words. After we simplified it down, for every one orange M&M, there are two green M&Ms. There's your answer in words. How would you write it with the colon? One to two. And as a fraction. So here's one way of writing it. Two ways of writing it, three ways of writing it. All right, let's do another example. So again, three types of ratios. There are three types of ratios as well. We have part to part, part to whole, and whole to part. So let's go with red M&Ms and green M&Ms. Now remember, the order matters. So what happens if I say, what is the ratio of red to green M&Ms? Well, this is actually a part to part. Why? Because it's two different things. We got different color M&Ms here. So what is the ratio of red to green? How many red M&Ms do you see? Well, there's three. How many green? Four. So there's your ratio of red to green. So this one goes with part to part. Now let's do part to whole. Lovely little lines here. What is the ratio of red M&Ms to total M&Ms? Well, here's my ratio. I'm comparing red to total. Now notice the red, that's your part. The total is your whole, that's how many there are. How many red M&Ms do we have? Three. How many total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
There's your ratio. Now let's do one more. Let's do whole to part. Sorry guys, I'm making some beautiful drawings here. What is the ratio of total M&Ms to green? So this time I'm taking the whole over a part. How many total M&Ms did I have? I had seven. How many of them were green? Well, I had four of them that were green. Notice guys, we have an improper fraction. Do I need to convert it to a mixed number? No, do not convert the improper fraction to a mixed number. The reason we leave it like this now it is a ratio. We are comparing two different things. If you turn it to a mixed number, you're no longer comparing them. That is your answer. So again, a ratio compares two different things. There are three different ways of writing it. And there are three types of ratios. We have part to part, part to whole, Hold apart. All right, guys, I hope this video helps. I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, guys.